morning, guys. Rise and shine. It's dark and demented, because we get up at 4 a.m. It's a great opportunity just for us to bond a little. Because we haven't bonded enough. I know. <laughs> he can pick us up. Let's start walking. It's this way, right? Ann Brown loves spending time outdoors. Are you really going on about the ducks? I mean, the hunt's really not about the ducks. No, the hunt's about this. us. Whether it's bird watching or bird hunting, her passion is also her profession. Before we recruited Annie to come to the Parks and Wildlife Foundation, she was some kind of muckety-muck with National Audubon. I forget her title, vice president of something or other. She probably made it up. So I started at the foundation in June, and the following June, we decided we were going to launch a $100 million campaign, because why not? And fast forward six years later, and we're working on the next phase of that campaign. She is the most successful conservation fundraiser that I've ever met. I've learned everything I know about fundraising from Annie Brown. She's just so innovative. And if she runs up against a brick wall, she finds another path. She took the foundation to an entirely new level. She actually helped the foundation become the wind beneath the wings of the department. I've never seen such a dedicated individual working toward a common goal and common mission. I think that's pretty unique. She is very skilled at fundraising. Next thing you know, we're writing another check. <laughs> Curl your fingers up and lock it in those jobs. Okay. You see the fruits of all that in so many places, whether it's the build out of the training center for our game wardens or the acquisition and creative partnership to acquire the Paderhorn Ranch, or helping to raise funds to help bring back pronghorn antelope to the desert grasslands. Ha ha, oh yeah. And at the end of the day, we're gonna continue to see those fruits for generations to come. <laughs> she tries to deliver value for the donor, and she's very good at making sure that you get a return for what you have given, and the return is not just for this generation, but for generations forward. Nothing is more gratifying than having all those partners come to the table and us all working together, because at the end, it's Texas, our lands and our waters and our wildlife that benefit. <laughs> We're here with your son today. What's it like to come out here to this project with your son? Um, I think especially on his birthday today, Oh, you're gonna make me cry, I can't do that. So when I asked your mom about why she does what she does, uh -huh. you know what she said? She said it was me, what, doesn't it? She tells me that, and I think that is pretty cool because my mom is a really great mom, and when she says that, it kind of inspires me to do what I do every day, so it's pretty cool that she says that. I'm starting to tear up a little bit. <laughs> I've been fortunate to have 20 years of amazing people and projects, and I hope the next 20 years we'll have more amazing people and projects that we can make a difference with.